Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Will, or as some of you may know me, that other person from that one channel with Kate on it. I want to assure you that my sudden and stunning appearance today is in no way related to the recent <coughs> accusations that I do not exist, or that my name is a prop to deter men from flirting with my wife. I can assure you that I am real. I am flesh and blood. And even if it was Kate's intention to stop people flirting with her, it does not work. I'm looking at you, Kaizen. So hopefully today we can put an end to this Bielefeld-esque internet mythos, for anyone familiar with the conspiracy, that I am a fictitious character on this crazy little platform called YouTube. Now that we have that madness out of the way, in today's video, Kate is going to introduce you all to the wonderful crew of the Greg Burton. We do hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions for me, good luck trying to send them to me. Because, because I don't exist. <laughs> what is up with this parking job that they've done? Yeah, I just, I was thinking that too. The crew of the Skunkworks Greg Burton were once again heading out on a routine security patrol of Crusader and its moons. And following another week of getting to know each other and building teamwork, things were running ever smoother aboard the ship. It is important to build a good relationship among the crew and make sure that everyone is enjoying their time in the Org. And with a ship like the Greg Burton, teamwork is everything when it comes to getting through a situation successfully. Amazing, look at that, perfectly in position as well. Junior Burton is aboard. Oh, oh. Carrying perhaps the most important people on the ship, the captain and the head of the, the gunnery. Yeah. And of course, a lowly, lowly logistics officer. And though it wasn't required yet, some of our crew were joining me in wearing the new uniform. I'm really like jealous the with the uniform. Like, I, this was dropped last minute. Like, I wasn't going to make this kind of like a thing at all after the patch anyway. While this patrol was going on, I wanted to introduce you guys to the rest of our amazing crew. And I was mostly successful, though one or two of our members you'll need to meet properly in future. But I'm sure we'll get the chance. Mr. Radchek, we are yep. heading to Port Olisar. Roger, roger. We had plans to visit and offer assistance at all of the landmark locations around Crusader, periodically checking the wanted playlist as we progressed. Our first stop would be Port Olisar. How are we doing, Rad? Cooking on gas. Excellent. On a normal day, the upper command deck is occupied by myself and our gunnery officer, Miss Bamboozlebat. Miss Bamboozlebat. Yes, Commander? What is your job here on the ship? Uh, I am the gunnery officer. I make sure that uh, we stay safe. And how long have you been part of Skunkworks? Uh, going on a good year now. Uh, it has been a long under time. Your, under, your, under your good leadership. <laughs> oh, my spotty leadership, I think, is more appropriate. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. We plan to remain at Port Olisar for a little while, as this is often a hotbed for griefers destroying ships on the landing pads. We'd be moving a fair bit between locations though, and so I had a little time to move through the ship and speak to more of our crew. Immediately behind the command bridge is the technical deck with maintenance office and drone control room. Our logistics officer, Mukenstrom, wasn't in his office though, and instead I would find him in the drone operator's room. Uh, I'm the logistics officer. I uh, fly crew planet side, or um, yeah, just make sure everything's there. Looking forward to 3.15 to have even more of a job. Further back on his deck is the Burton's hangar, and beyond that, access to the port and starboard turrets, engineering, and the ship's main elevator. I was heading back to meet gunnery crewman Habanero. But I wait for you outside the door. What an entrance. Wow. Oh. So, you are Habanero. Introduce yourself. My name comes from uh, uh, the story of my origin. Habba's voice was unusually quiet on this occasion, 
and it was hard to make him out. You were like super quiet for me. I've turned you up to 200%, but it's still very quiet. Yeah. Yeah, super quiet Same for here. me too. And while I wouldn't move all the way over to the port side turret as well, Gunnery Crewman Alpha would introduce himself. Hi, my name is Alpha, and I'm the port side gunner on the Greg Bowden. Engineering access is also on this deck, with the engineer station and main engine room housing the ship's engines and all major subcomponents. The deck below is the habitation deck and is a much nicer place to spend time. Right behind the flight bridge, we have my ready room and quarters. A nice relaxing office to call my own, adjacent to very comfortable living arrangements by Star Citizen standards, including a private bathroom. A little further back is the galley and the rec room. Leading through to the crew quarters, enough bunks and comfort for the entire crew. We've even made use of this space, bed logging to change servers as a crew. And further back we have the med bay, where our ship's doctor, Raza Moon, spends his time. But I'd also bump into Bamboozle once again. Doctor? And, oh, oh hey, <laughs> Bam Bamboozle's getting a CAT scan. I approve. <laughs> How are you two doing today, Doctor? Oh, just familiarizing. Getting used <laughs> to the, the burden. This is, this is where you'll be working from? doctor's office with a good view into the medical room there. Are you looking forward to the changes coming next patch? That's the question. Very much so. It, it means a, a job and having equipment and stuff to store and things to do. Taking the main elevator to the sub deck, we find the ship's armory and the aft turret where Gunnar Saivan watches over the six o'clock of the Burton. Hey, I'm Saivan and I'm the lower turret gunner for the Great Burton. I protect a squishy underbelly. In the last training patrol, you guys got to know our pilot Radchek quite well, as he applied himself to a very intensive first time piloting the ship, and he continues to show great commitment in honing the skills required. Just looking for the mark he keeps on dropping. Bamboozle, have your gunners completed a weapons check? Not yet, no. I don't buy a phone Excellent. We are heading to do a flyby of Security Post Korea, a very popular spot for criminals to clear their crime stat. But en route, we get an ECN alert about a ship under attack and requesting assistance. We've picked up an emergency distress call. There's an ECN broadcast 100,000 kilometers away, basically around another moon. I think we should respond. We'd need to reach the ship in distress before it was too late. Right. I'm under blast. I also think that given the nature of the ships we're going to encounter, focus and fire probably won't be necessary. We we'll just have gunners go for whatever targets within their arcs. And we'd have an interesting encounter upon arrival at the signal. We got a target already. What is that? No, no, That's is a that, is player. A player, okay. Give us a ping. Look like a vanguard, maybe a safe. It's a Talon. It's a Talon. Oh, is it? Be on your guard, guys. But yeah, it's not. Let's not shoot any innocent people, obviously. Or if we do, let's make it a very limited number of innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. We have a talent just like floating around us. Help! Anyone? I'm under attack. Repeat, I'm under attack. Contact. Starfare. Yeah. 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 Contact. Positive. Be on the lookout, guys. You are weapons free on any targets you see. Maybe left. Quick, now. I guess we have fighter support. Looks like a uh, <laughs> concerned citizen, you know? We probably said, oh my god, it's the Greg Burton! Looking <laughs> <laughs> good so far. What kind of ships are you encountering, by the way? A buccaneers. Okay. No, no, 
Dogs course. Here we go. Really what we're done for. That's our good deed for the day, right there. I don't see anything showing up as wanted on the bounty list at the moment. We'll patrol back there. We'll stick around for a couple of minutes, see if we spot anything. If we don't, we'll come back here and we'll take something on in the ring. But I gotta keep you busy, Red Check. I gotta get my money's worth out of a pilot, you know. Does anyone have any targets? Nope. After returning to complete our flyby of Korea, we were heading into the rings of yellow again after some hammerheads. Would the birds and crew improve on their last kill performance? Now remember what we learned from before guys, we're going to take out any support ships that we find there first. And then we're going to move in and remember our ship, we're going to try and work our way into an orbit around the ship facing the target. Yeah, I see him. We'd arrived at the first target, but once again there was some strange activity already going on. Bobby. 8k and closing. See the hammerhead? Oh, the hammerhead's, hammerhead's, hammerhead's under, under attack. attack. Hammerhead is being engaged by someone. Amazing. Oh, it's engaging. Yeah. Friendly attacking the hammerhead. Oh, what, what is that? I see something Yeah, it's right friendly. Here. What is it? It looks like a hurricane or a stalker. It looks maybe a hurricane. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, Valkyries are yes. Valkyries are enemy, yeah. Uh, one of the Valkyries just ate shit. Okay, you are. There we go, okay. We're on to the main course. It was time to put last week's lessons into practice. Outstanding fire, look at that. So we're gonna pitch left, up and left quickly, yeah. Up off, lift the nose up, lift the nose up, okay, try and anticipate the direction that the, uh, that the hammerhead's gonna move. A bit, a bit of lag. Move! Oh. We got close there. That's it, that's it, keep the fire, keep the fire. Shields are down, yeah, we're doing great. Get the nose up. Yes, look at that. Outstanding kill, outstanding. Next stop on our security pole was Grim Hex, and all was quiet with no criminals in sight, but we'd soon be on the trail of our second hammerhead. Come. I don't want this distance. Okay. Missiles. Missiles. Let the fighters come to us, try to move to stay back. Look around for the fighters. Yeah, I see him. Okay, yeah, good work, good work. Please and why. God. Yeah, good work, outstanding. Valkyrie. Excellent, so fast, good work, guys, amazing. Get that nose on harder. Yeah, rear shield and white shield are looking low. Nose on target, and we'll be good. Okay hey guys, slime up. Amazing how much fire goes out between these two particular ships. Pull that, bring that nose up a bit, bring the nose up a bit. At that point I'm gonna get in on this. There we go. We need to close the range, we're gonna know loud. Yeah. Keep the nose a little bit higher than you can see calls to keep it at all. Okay. Yeah, keep it like keep the, that that level up, like in front of There we go. go. You guys are getting so good at taking out these hammerheads now. Incredible. So, we've got ourselves some hammerhead kills. Now, think about this, like the last session, the last training we did, right? Pretty much the whole thing was getting out there and eliminating two hammerheads. So granted, we had a player, we were attacked by a player uh, in the middle of that. But tonight, you guys have taken out two hammerheads in very, very fast order. Very fast order. It's very impressive. Yeah. 
Okay, we've got nothing on the board that would lead me to believe there are any wanted players out there. Let's head to Shubin Mining on Daymar. We'll give Mika Chorm his uh, moment to shine. We were heading to Daymar to load ground vehicles into the Burton's lower vehicle bay. But this being a moon of crusader, you're always likely to bump into other citizens. Mutual contact there. You got a contact? Okay. Is it a hostile contact? It looks friendly. Oh look, oh, yeah, I see a constellation down there. Leaving? Yeah, Connie's leaving. How the hell did people get, like, tanks on top of this thing? Uh, you um, put it in the C2 and then... Oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Or yeah. you find a very high cliff and jump. <laughs> We'd be loading an Ursa rover and a cyclone. A bit of flexibility. But Marcuccio had another idea to try. So you can get a 100 eye on that pad. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, isn't it? What the hell? Yeah. You can show them. Um, I'm going to create the first vehicle for storage now. Look at that. Look at the bit in the background there. Wow. Someone should get a screenshot of the bit in there. Oh, damn it, that's some amazing logisticking right there. You, you, are, you are a logistics genius, I'm just gonna just tell you that. Alright, all right, everyone aboard, is anybody still on shore? Oh, somebody opened the hangar. It wasn't me, ramp I'm in closing, the shower. Ramp closing, ramp is closing. Man, it's one needs to close out. So Mark wanted to land a 100 eye on the door of the top hangar. Much like we'd done with the second Pisces before, we'd need to repair the door and refuel them, and Bamboozle would make an observation while we were waiting. Uh, ever worrying report, it appears our escape pods do not function. <laughs> well, open. you know, it costs money, you know? The ship costs enough, I mean, just don't get us in the kind of trouble that we need to use the escape pods, that's all. One day, if you guys are really good as a crew, we'll get real escape bots, I promise. <laughs> Sun is coming up as well, what a view. Might even get to see a Daymar sunrise while we're here. The refueling is extremely slow, and so checking for any signs of repair would be a good idea. Let me know, um, you can, oh, actually, you go up to the bridge, go ahead, you treat yourself. Yeah, it's not, it's not repaired yet. Oh, that is an amazing view. Observation. Hangar bay is closed. The crew were in good spirits and working together well. And where else could a group of players pull together in service of a ship like this? With everything from navigation and piloting, defense and attack, logistics and soon even crew health. All positions covered. The crew of the Greg Burton. We'd be returning to Ambitious Dream at Crusader L1 following another successful patrol. Not all patrols will be successful, indeed we'd have a very humbling experience in the weeks to come, but every time we head out together there will be improvement and tighter coordination. I'm very lucky to have such a great crew to work with. I'd like to thank all of you for watching and send out a very special thank you to Alpha, Micah Maverick, The Cam Gardener and Wing Commander Bob 
who all recently became supporters of this series over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your generosity guys. I'd also like to thank all of our patrons too. You guys are what make these videos possible. We'll be back very soon with more adventures from the Skunkworks fleet and the Greg Burton. See you soon.